Hey guys, it's Henry here. I'm coming at you with what I hope will be a lovely one-take tutorial video. So let's see how well I can do this without fluffing it up. Uh, in front of me here, I have got a French Grenadier that I've put in Litchi Sizer. And I'm going to be showing you how I use cubes to sort of guesstimate approximate scales. So our figure here is 6mm, uh, ostensibly, though it's sort of closer to 8mm really. Um, if you look at the scale, you'll see he is a uh, total 13.6 millimeters tall. That would be the height from the bottom of the base to the top of the bayonet. Um, now, the most common question I get from people is, uh, Henry, what percentages should I use for different scales, etc. And um, I found myself explaining via private messages this method several times, so I just thought it would be good to make a video. So, let's get on with it. Uh, if you click Library on Litchi Slicer, and I'm sure other slicers allow you to do this, you can add some uh, basic shapes here. We're going to add in the cube. Go click move, click on the cube, and just drag it over here. Uh, scale. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make this figure into a variety of different scales and just sort of note the percentages that come out. Uh, bear in mind, I have not test printed these figures at different scales uh, in quite some time. At least it was so long ago that I can't really remember what percentages I used. So um, this is sort of learning on the go for me as well. Um, we're going to make this cube. Well, it's already 10 millimeters tall, so let's go with that. Now, what we're doing with this cube is, uh, usually scale in figures is measured from the bottom of the boots to the eye line. Um, and we're going to scale this figure so that his uh, eye line or the brim of his hat matches the top of the cube and his boots the bottom. The first thing to do though is to move the cube up uh, one millimeter because that is the height of the base. Um, and let's get him scaled. So. Uh, going to go with a sort of guesstimate first. If the figure is about 8 millimeters now, that would imply that maybe 120% should be approximately up to 10. No? Okay. 140. This is how I do it. I just put in random numbers. That looks about right, doesn't it? So uh, 140. Dragging my cube. So it just intersects. Okay. Science tells us that 140% uh, should get us uh, 10 millimeters. I should point out that this is a model that's already been exported and rescaled in 3D Builder. Uh, some of you might not know, but when I export a model from Blender, I scale it to 116.5% because the models in Blender are actually like true scale 6 mil. And I scale my uh, STL files that I sell to be a little bit taller to, to match metal manufacturers. Okay, so uh, let's go on the scaling, 140. And if I wanted to slim him down, I would guesstimate 120, 120. That looks a bit thin, actually, doesn't it? You might be fine just leaving it at 140, but let's just see how the proportions look. Okay. Well, I'll say that 130, 130, 140 looks fine. Um, X and Y is the, well, I'm sure you know, side to side and forward and backward uh, scaling settings. Right. I'm going to return him so all the scales match now. Let's do some 15 millimeter. 15 mil. Uh, change my cube to 15. Oh, sorry. I had the pad block off. So that's my fault. Keep him in the cube a bit thin here. Okay, 15. Right. Move that so it's just on top of the base, which it is. Uh, guesstimating 15 mil. If I think the figure is about 8 millimeters, uh, by default, then 200% should be a good starting point. Let's click the padlock so everything scales together. Oh, he's gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why am I doing this in one take? Okay, here we go. 200. Uh, oh, not quite. 200 220. Let's try. So that can be a little too much. Then 210. Okay. Yep, that's about right. So we go 15 millimeter, 210%. That's what I'm guessing. Obviously, I'd recommend you do some test prints and uh, compare these next to some metal miniatures that you might already have lying around. Uh, what will we do for scaling? Let's try, uh, I mean, for slimming him down. Let's try 190. 190. 210. Uh, looks fine to me. So there we go. My... Uh, Semi-scientific method tells me that if you want to do uh, 15 mil, you need to go for 190, 190, 210. And the last one we're going to do, because this is the largest I would personally scale these figures to, um, 
is 18 mil. So let's try that. Okay. Um, 18. You know what? Uh, my math is too bad. I'm just going to jump it up by an arbitrary amount to like, oh, it's this one we're changing to. 210. 210. Um, I'm going to say 240. Padlock on. 240. You not quite. 245. Still not quite. 250. Move the cube. No. Two, 255. Yep. And uh, for slimming him down, 225. 225. Still rather broad shouldered, isn't he? But I would say 18 millimeters sort of like limit of where these figures kind of are viable. But let's try 220. Looks fine, I guess. And uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, one more little hint. If you feel that the uh, base is now too large, um, Let's see, the base is one millimeter, so now it's about two and a half mil. I can move the figure down uh, minus 1.5 mil. Uh, let's do it minus one. And uh, this red part now won't print. It's beneath the bill plate, so the figure will be on a thinner base. And you could like bring in all your figures and set them up that way. And remember, guys, you, could, you don't just need to scale individual figures this way. You could bring in a strip. Um, any model it will apply to, but yeah write these down. Um, I will put in the video description the, uh, the scale conclusions we came to, but as said, this is just me mucking around without a script in a slicer program. I really recommend that you do some test prints and compare these to metal miniatures, but if you subscribe to the boots to eyeline model, then uh, hopefully this was sort of scientific. That was 80 minutes at all. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Um, I guess I'll be making more videos ahead of the Cavalry Kickstarter, which I hope to launch on January 2nd, January 3rd. But uh, in the meanwhile, happy hobbying, and uh, I wish you a lovely winter season.